Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Fall is among us, the weather is nice and cool outside, and that just really puts me in the mood to make fall themed dishes. So today I thought I would try a couple recipes that I've never tried before, but they look fairly simple. The first one is sweet potato pecan bread, and the second recipe is cinnamon apple bread. Now, I've never made bread before, so this will be an experience, or a journey, if you will. But the recipes don't look that hard, so I thought I would try them out. The link for both of these recipes will be down in the description below, so you can follow along or come back to it later. So first we're going to get started with the sweet potato pecan bread. So the first thing we're going to do for this recipe is we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And then I'm going to take a can of sweet potatoes because I didn't feel like making fresh ones. We're going to open the can up. We're going to take two tablespoons of the liquid on the inside and put it in our mixing bowl. And then we're going to drain the rest of the liquid. And then we put those potatoes in the mixing bowl. Next, we need to mash the potatoes. And I'm just going to use an electric mixer for this because it'll be quicker. Now we're going to add one and one fourth cup of sugar. One third cup of water, one third cup of oil, and two large eggs. And now we mix. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. The last dry ingredient that's gonna go in our mixture is gonna be one and three fourths cup of flour. I think next time I'm gonna wear an apron so I don't get flour all over my shirt. Now we're going to mix all the dry ingredients in with our wet ingredients. Now we're going to add about half a cup of pecans to the mixture. And we're going to stir those in. Now I'm going to grease our bread pan with some butter. Now we're going to pour the mixture right into the bread pan. I'm going to take the back of my spoon and just flatten out the top of the batter. And now I'm going to sprinkle just a few more chopped pecans on top of the batter. throw this in the oven. The worst part about this recipe is that it has to bake for 70 minutes. However, I really hope it's worth it in the end. And in the meantime, while that is cooking, I'm going to take a break and then we'll get started on the cinnamon apple bread. 
Now that the sweet potato pecan bread is almost done cooking and my whole house smells like a bakery, I'm going to start on the cinnamon apple bread. Okay, so first we're going to start with one and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour. Next, we're going to do two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. One fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're going to combine the dry ingredients. Now we're going to set those aside and get out another mixing bowl. In the separate bowl we're going to mix our wet ingredients. Okay, and in this bowl we're going to mix wet ingredients plus sugar. So in this bowl we're going to add 3 fourths a cup of sugar. One third a cup of oil, two tablespoons of applesauce, and two eggs. Now we're just mixing these ingredients. Now we're going to combine the wet and dry ingredients. And mix. So off camera I peeled and chopped an apple and put that into the mix as well and combined it all. The recipe also says that you can add nuts but this bread is specifically for my husband and my husband doesn't like nuts so I decided to opt out on that. Now I'm just greasing up the bread pan with butter. And I've already preheated the oven to 350. Now we're just going to pour the batter into the bread pan. This one has a lot more of a dough-like consistency, so it might be a little bit harder to work with. Now I'm using the back of a spoon to flatten the top of the batter. Now on top of the batter we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of ground cinnamon and some sugar. Now we're going to bake this bread for 55 to 60 minutes at 350. I'm personally going to cook it for about 57 minutes. Okay guys, this is the sweet potato pecan bread. And here is the cinnamon apple cake. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed today's recipes. They're a little bit different, something I've never made before, but I had a lot of fun making them and I'm pretty sure they're going to taste great. I've never made bread before, but I feel like these breads would taste really good with a cup of coffee or tea, mainly in the morning or after dinner.
And yeah, it was just something new that I wanted to try. As always, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and have a good night. Bye!